report city regular council meeting is called to order at six o'clock present president chris michon council members kevin charbonneau clark curtis rick Arthur chase City Clerk and Treasurer James Johnson, our City Manager Jonathan DeLabre. Additional members here are our Fire Chief, members of uh, are our members from our Fire Department, our Police Chief, that is a blend, our Police Chief and Fire Department. <laughs> and our City Attorney. Is there anyone else um, on there? No, so we good to Next item on the agenda is additions and deletions to the agenda. President Bashan? Nothing. Councilman Shogun? Uh, yes. Okay. It's been brought up a number of times. We voted on it in, in June uh, to have a special meeting or a meeting to address the personnel policy. Uh, I would like to have that on the meeting tonight just to discuss it. Um, and so from there, but it's it's been several times. So I'd like to add that. Council member has asked that. Are you going to make a motion to that area? Uh, we don't have to have a motion. No, I'm just there. asking. Like I, I'm going to say, you're asking to have that on. Yes. Okay. Okay. Council member is asking for the personnel policy to be added to the agenda. I'll second. I have a motion and a second. Those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Aye. Aye. Ayes have it, and we will add personnel policy discussion. That's Everybody right. vote yes. Yes. Yeah. Can just a clarification: What number are we? Putting that in yeah, I'm gonna oh. do that in one second. Okay. So just bear with me one second. Um, Council Member Curtis. No thanks. Council Member Avi Chase. No thank you. Uh, Treasurer. No. I have um, one item that we need to shift, and then right after we do that, I'll assign a number for the council members. Um, so um, I'd like to move number 10, okay, which is the employee labor relations executive session to go before number eight so that that particular employee doesn't have to wait for all of the executive sessions. And um, so if you make sure when he comes in, we're aware of him. If, if he doesn't show up because he thought it was later, we'll move it. So is everybody comfortable with that? Yes. Okay. And then let's find. Uh, I'm going to put uh, Council Member Charbonneau's item as number. Second, please. As number uh, just before number eleven, which will now be our new twelve. Okay, before comments by members of the public. Okay. Are you, are you good at that, Kevin? Okay. Okay. Next item on the agenda is the consent agenda. We have the regular minutes of September 16, 2024. We have the special meeting minutes of September 27, 2024. Accounts payable warrants, September 18, 24, 25, 26, 27, 30, October 2, and October 4. We have payroll warrants of September 19 and October 3. 
and liquor licenses, vendor permits, special events permits. Good with that? Can we discuss Yes, something? we can discuss anything you want. I just want to make sure that I have all of the dates and everything. Right. Okay. Yes. I have a lot on the... Um, mm -hmm. I meant to go see Jim, but I'm, I didn't have it. It's okay. Um, credit card for $1,398 from uh, 918 to 918 I'll pay for um, Thirteen what? Nine. Uh, thirteen ninety eight eighty two. Um, next to the last item, fourteen hundred seventy two fifty for traffic. So that is, I can answer that. Sure, go ahead. Um, that's for the engineering for the causeway project. The fourteen hundred. The 1472, right. 13 TCE. I'm sorry, for what? For the causeway project. <clears throat> um, 924 to 924 PS1. Um, nothing against any of these, I just don't know what to do. Fred's Plumbing and Heating, $40,000. Fuel. Without looking at the, the actual invoice, I don't know. Like pre buy, you know, you know. I can't. Without looking at the invoice. The, the $40,000 for Fred's. Yeah, those are. Those, those are, are accumulated boards. Accumulated bills that have been accumulated because of the like, funds. Mm -hmm. They're all paid off today. On 925, page one of one, a whole bunch for Fred's. Twenty-four thousand, six thousand. I know. I can answer the six and the fives. Those okay. are those are the fuel cards, the monthly fuel cards. The others. I don't. I don't know. What find out. Maybe. Do. I can. I don't need an answer this one. Mm -hmm. Elevator company, oh, I'm sorry, um, 926 to 926, page one of two. Aldrich and Elliot, this is, is services. Again, uh, 2160, Aldrich and Elliot. Yep. That's so we utilized engineering uh, for two projects the water tower project and the bluff road pump station. I don't know which one's which, just right. where we're going to Elevator company, is that like an annual yep. inspection? The annual inspection for this building. Okay. Not maybe, but I want to make sure. And then um, 927 to 927, page one. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get this right. The Hawk Company Field Service, 3000. I don't know. I'd have to pull the invoice. Are you familiar with that one? Hall Company? I think, I, it's, I think it's actually in the, the packet. If not, um, Jonathan, can you get us back yeah, I don't need it. This minute, it's like a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, 10-2 to 10-2, page one of one, all kinds of frets. One, mm -hmm. fuel, 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 16,000. Which one? 10. Okay. What, what are all those? It's a lot of the bars and six of the cars, right? Checking. Mm -hmm. the same, the same dollar, no, it's like $62,000 fuel. And then taking this, and then the pages from before. So I think they're, they're the exact same dollar amounts. From the other page? Yep. So 925 and 102. 
to After Kevin, they have like 30 days after to go and finish their uh, field work, and then they'll send out uh, letters to management. They've started to do some of that, and then they'll send those out. Thank you. Sure. Anyone else? Good. I just have one quick question. Sure. I didn't see in the packet any request for liquor licenses, vendor permits, or special events permits. So I just want to make sure that's the case. We're not passing something no, we haven't seen. Right. That's on there in case the writers. Thank you. Okay. So can I have a motion, please, to approve the consent agenda as identified? So moved. Have a second? Second. Have the motion is second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Those say nay. Ayes have it, and the motion is carried. Next item on the agenda is the city financial position with a discussion. I'm going to just begin the discussion. Uh, do you want to just kind of give us jump in and sure. think so. You're going to begin and I'll jump in, or you want me just to you start? Go, just okay. Um, so in your packet was included uh, the balance sheet and the budget status report uh, that shows through the end of the quarter. Um, the, I think the highlight is that uh, the expense side of it, we finished at 25.5% after the end of the quarter. So on the expense side of things, um, I think we're doing very, very well. We're, we're exactly where we should be. Um, Sorry, Jonathan, can you just point me to exactly where you're looking so I, I'm on the right spot? So this would be the budget status report, so that's the second document. Yeah. And this, the way a budget status report in NEMRIC is broken down is it starts with your revenue at the beginning. Yeah. Um, so again, it starts with taxes, and we can see, so our property taxes for the year on the municipal side is just under $5 million but we've actually collected 2.2, and so the difference between that is what's actually gonna to go to the school system that we collected. Um, so again, uh, revenue at the beginning, uh, expenses, your revenue total is on page four. Um, and obviously you're seeing more than what we budgeted for, so sometimes this number is just a little tricky, right? Um, it's showing 152%, but that's because the school amount is in there. Um, that is where your expenses start as well, um, and they go all the way through the various departments, police, recreation, public works, to page 21, which is where your total expenditures is going to be for the year. So out of our uh, $7.3 million budget, we've spent 1.8, uh, which is 25.5% of our total budget. And this is for the first quarter, the months of This is for the first quarter, July, August, and September. And a couple things to note, um, you know, we do get a, a sizable payment in lieu of taxes uh, in the budget. It's $615,000, which typically comes in um, roughly the 1st of November. Um, so that sh is going to be coming within a few weeks, and that's a fairly large portion. Um, other than that, you know, I think the various dollar amounts trickle in throughout the year, depending on what the different sources are. 
um, you know, zoning permits <coughs> are going to um, tick up in the spring when people are building things. Um, dog licenses, for example, are due April 1st, so you're going to see that kind of revenue at different times of the year, um, depending on what it is. But just looking at that snapshot from the 50,000 foot view, um, we're, we're looking really good so far. Any questions? Or? Just on that part. I had one question I'm trying to find it here. Page 32 of 34. Um, I see no actuals in the debt service column. Or no, in the actual column, I don't see any debt service. Can, can somebody explain why not? Um, those payments, <coughs> so it looks like one is a vehicle, I would say, a 2001, a principal and interest, and just that payment probably isn't due yet, is my, my guess. Um, same on some of these, there's principal and interest, and I don't know exactly if we know, you know, when those payments are due, but they just, the payment hasn't come due yet, is my, just. And thank you. Come due in November. And where, where would the interest that we're paying on the line of credit show up on this report? There's a line in there. Somewhere that's an interest line of credit. I can't remember exactly. I can't remember exactly. You think it's under debt service, Jim? No. Yeah. No. Somewhere else. Okay. 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 There's in there. There's a line I'll look. I'll look more carefully at it. Thank you. I just didn't see it and wondered if you knew where it was. since we're talking so much about that line of credit. Tell the page number, so I don't know. Oh, you don't have I don't have it off. Oh, no, oh, it's I have okay. to. He knows where to find it, I guess. Okay, that's fine. Oh, wait. Okay. Yeah. the interest. And then you want to go behind the interest. Oh, that's not the water. That's, that's the water. That is that's the water. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's what we just heard. Mm -hmm. The towns, I can't see why. Mm -hmm. To see where it you know, was placed. But if I, I know it was charged with something, so I'll figure out which one. Yeah, it's kind of Okay. I'll, I'll take a closer look. Okay. Come ask questions if I have them. Just there. Okay. Any other topics on the financials at this point in time that anybody would like to bring up now? No, we, we got the, the extension on the line of credit. Mm -hmm. I, I brought another 400000 uh, The bank statement this morning was uh, 930000 in the in the checking account, but we warrant a total of $580,000. Mm -hmm. Better than half of it going out. Small. Okay. Anything else, sir? 
tax bills went out. Um, the first installment is due the 15th, so we're going to see money trickling in from those. I assume escrows and some some yes, residents right. are already starting to, to bring in money, um, but that the payment isn't due until the 15th of November. Right, which is what we anticipated. That's why we did. Yep. Yeah, it's probably going to be a lot of people paying the whole thing this time around now. See, all you have to do is ask. But that's, <laughs> that's half of my money we'll be getting in the next round. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. You're right. It's on that same Warren's page. Yes. Some six savings bank line of credit interest. The one that we looked at last. Mm -hmm. Correct. So I was, I was telling Chris, I just have to, knowing if some six, sorry, we're going to report for, for some six, then we can see what line item it is, and yeah. then I can get back to you on where okay. in the budget Thank we're you. placing that. Yeah. So, is that the more? No. Uh, no. No. It was no, a copy that we had. I guess one thing, I don't know if it, it would be helpful, it would be, the, it would be one extra button yeah. for Stacy to click one. on. But I thought it, there was one there. It would give you the line item per thing on each. That would be one. very good if you could have that done so we could Jim. see that in detail. Yep. So it's, it's going to make the warrants longer okay. because it takes every one and splits it into two, mm -hmm. but it shows you where in the budget each okay. transaction is going to. Yeah. That would be really helpful. Um, we could, especially during this period where we're going through the financial discussions once yep. it's all concluded then you can go back for a while <coughs> do it the only thank you for that that yep. would be very good so i have one other sure. question based on that little exchange about <coughs> people some people paying their bill in full <coughs> excuse me jim uh, i'm just wondering i guess i would request if that's happening i'm going to want to know on november 15th or shortly thereafter when we look at the total tax income, how much income is represented by people who've paid their bills in full for the year? And how much is, so if that's something we can track from now through November, because we're, we're all about cash flow management right now, right? And so the, the logical assumption would be that we're only getting half of the, cat, the tax bill up front. Correct. So if some significant portion of it is coming in in full and we're not gonna see it later on, I'd like to know that. You could November. probably run a balance I, if it's zero, then you know you know those were the ones paid. Because you can do what's owed to you mm -hmm. as of that day. Yeah. And if it's more than fifty percent, you're going to know how much more than fifty percent. I see. But I don't think you're going to be able to break it down per property. Can you not, can you not do a balance even if the zeros run through? That means they prepaid. Yeah. I can tell you what we're supposed to get and how much we get. Correct. Okay, so that. But okay, we can look at it more dramatically that. over it. Tell it's the answer the to my question. Yeah. The people who don't haven't paid anything. I understand. So. Yeah. Which is equally worse over more. Yeah. But mm -hmm. to you to your point, I'll sit with Jonathan um, and we'll look and see what kind of reports we Great. Want Thank you. Yeah, I'm not aware of any Yeah, and we'll figure okay. it out. I'm thinking that if there's a zero balance then we may be able to run something. But we can go and Sounds look at <laughs> yep. Okay. Any other discussion? on the finances at this point. I know we're just starting because it's going to be on every single meeting going forward. And we're going to be adding to this discussion. But is there anything anybody wants specifically to see? You don't have to say it now, just email me and we'll get those reports and that information for the next um, meeting. But if you want, if you, if you have anything else you'd like to say now, please feel free. I guess as, as you dive into this, if there are, you know, whether it's the warrants or the, the budget status report, if there's, we can take each line item and, and do a detailed transaction and pull up what makes up that total. So if for some reason you get to a budget line item, we're supposed to be at 25% right now, and it's at 500%, why, right? We, we can kind of dive into that. Now it may be a $30 line item and we've spent $500, right, where it's not a huge dollar amount, but it inflates the percentages. Um, so taking a, a, a deep dive into each one of those line items, we can do as well if there's something that catches your eye. Yeah, thanks, thank you for that. Yes. So I, this is very, this feels like a helpful start to me, so thank you. And 
um, Madam Mayor, you may be the best person to answer this given your background, but I'm thinking about the tool or tools that are going to be useful to us in trying to actually get to the root of what's going on and why the line of credit is constantly maxing out and kind of where our problem is. And in the past, when I've worked with larger budgets, one of the tools that I found most useful is what I called a financial projection, which is actuals year to date and best guesses from there forward about what's actually going to happen compared to what we budgeted, right? So that we can actually see in November where are we, what, you know, what's actually taken place. And this is, you, if, if I knew the budget better, I could probably guess a lot of that from this document. Um, so I don't know, that may not be the only or the best no, tool. So th those are the types of tools, and um, Jonathan and I have already begun speaking about them. We're going to be doing the target break-evens and the actuals, and we're going to get that for all of these meetings. We've already started to put together a list of what's going to be needed so we can actually go in and see these numbers and compare. But that's what you described is exactly what would be part of this, Great. and we just call it something else. That, yeah, and I can afford to be educated. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's just that I'm saying yes. So um, the actuals are important, the timing of the actuals, when we're over or under, so that we can actually project now is the key factor of what we're going to be doing our dive on while they're working on the budget process as well. And they work Good point. Uh, right. That's the other thing that, that I That is the point. Is yeah. It needs to be worked on simultaneously with that so that we can not just be guessing. Yep. But the, this report will tell you on the expense of where your percentage is. It'll also tell you what percentage of revenue would come in. Mm -hmm. so okay. Right. It's all right. Right. on those sheets. Mm -hmm. Good. Where you stand percentage-wise on both revenue and expense. Good. Okay. Yes. Um, so we're just having a discussion. It's not open to the public at this point. Okay. So thank you. So. Okay, I'm going to go home and would you please? read this very, very carefully. Would you, you, might wait, be to, would you wait until we adjourn? Then I'm going to text you. <laughs> yeah, right. So Good this night. is just a discussion here for us to get started. We're, you know, we haven't opened anything up for votes or plans. Okay, so the next item on the agenda is the uh, public <coughs> records request, the PRA city rate. And it's our public records request policy. We're going to have a discussion on this and we're going to actually recognize our city attorney. And the purpose of this is a discussion in, um, for our attorney to explain the process that um, this involves and what this means. And um, I have had begun to have meetings with our department heads so that they understand that we're discussing it, and then once we finish the process discussion with our city attorney, we will have more um, meetings with our department heads to begin to inform them how to proceed. So, for I Smith, Councillor, thank you for joining us. It's all yours. All right. Thank you, Madam Mayor, and hello, City Council, and City Council members. Uh, so, with the um, large number of other record requests we've been receiving, uh, there's been interest in looking at the uh, the city adopting its own uh, charges schedule under the PRA. The um, the statute allows municipalities to adopt their own schedule of charges. The in absence of this schedule of charges, the Secretary of State schedule controls, and that's what the city can charge for uh, copies provided and staff time. However, that uh, is a little bit out of date and fairly old. And if the city wanted to update its own charges schedule with more up to date, um, reflecting the modern costs of, of providing these records. The statute requires that the uh, council hold a hearing in which um, these costs, the costs are presented to the council and 
likely staff will provide a recommendation um, based on the facts that they've provided on uh, what it costs to produce these copies. And the council will, after that public hearing, decide what those schedule, what the charges schedule will be. Now, when deciding what to charge for copies, the statute's very specific in that uh, the council can only consider the following factors when deciding what the actual costs of providing a copy are. The cost of the paper or the electronic media onto which the public record is copied, a prorated amount for maintenance and replacement of the machine or equipment used to copy the record, and three, any utility charges directly associated with copying the record. So that will be what's the rental cost of the machine, the cost of maintenance for the machine prorated over time, uh, and along with the actual cost of the paper uh, per sheet. Now, when we get to staff time, the statute doesn't provide uh, specific factors you have to consider but it should be based on the actual cost of staff time. Uh, so we recommend that you consider a staff person's or a group of staff person's salary uh, and prorate that over time. So the amount of hours that are being used from that staff person's time for this. The council can Find, ad, find an average salary for staff persons at a certain level, and then perhaps, like the Secretary of State's schedule does, create a second level for uh, the cost of senior staff time. Um, so I, I suppose that's, that's the process. You have to have a hearing, and it has to be based on actual costs. It has to be logical and based on actual costs for the paper and the actual cost of staff time. And it has to get them, with whatever number you come up with for staff time, you should have a logical um, reference and support with the numbers of what what the city's actually paying staff. Does that make sense, or is there any questions? Yes. Any questions here? No. So just so you know that, um, we will be having department head meetings and we'll be working with the department head so that we can put this together, come up with reasonable assumptions based on this plan and we will discuss it with our council and go from there. And then once we feel comfortable, then we will go back to our attorney and get ready for the hearing and, and the, the guidance from the city attorney. Good. Yeah. Okay. The process is fairly straightforward. It's just a public hearing. You just have to have the evidence mm -hmm. brought, brought mm -hmm. before you and prepare. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next, next item on the agenda is the PD Cruiser vest purchase with an anticipated vote. I'd like to recognize our police chief. Uh, so I brought a little show and tell just so you guys can see what I was talking about. Uh, so these are actually our cruiser vests that we carry in each car. We have seven cars, so there's seven of these. Uh, these belong with the vehicle, so if we're responding to a known threat, any kind of critical incident, uh, active shooter scenario, um, we have access to these, okay? These are different than the patrol vests that we wear every day. Um, and these are rated, they call them level three, 3A, uh, rated to stop like higher level of ballistics, like most rifle rounds. Uh, there's a panel front and back, and essentially that's that's what we're replacing in these. And this is what the panel looks like, um, and these are good for five years, and they have ex they're coming to the end of their life, uh, so we have to replace these. Uh, I have set money aside in the capital plan over the last years um, to make these purchases, but I need approval from the council to do that with that money. Uh, so that's what I'm asking for. Any questions? Seven, so there's seven. There's 14 plates. 
These are a little over $500 a piece, so about $7,500 total. Is that enough for every cruiser? Yeah. So may I have a motion to approve the purchase of the PD Cruiser vests? So moved. A motion to have a second? Second. Motion and a second. Any comments? Ms. Grimm. Please remember. Lori Grimm, Newport. So um, I'll ask you, so there is actually money available in the budget to cover all of that? Uh, yes, so I have set money aside in the capital plan every year. I set a $5,000 aside each year, and I look today with the city manager, and there's $13,000 in there right now. And that's after purchasing the vest that I uh, purchased this um, spring, I guess. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Further discussion? The motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Ayes have it, and the motion is carried. The next item on the agenda is the DPW SALT bids with an anticipated vote. Um, the uh, <clears throat> Superintendent of um, Streets, DPW Director, has said that he has uh, Compass Minerals on there for 9803 and Carjal Salt for 9625. He said that there is a dial of 78 difference in the per ton cost. Um, he paid last year 9266 from Compass Mir Minerals. And that uh, Kit Cargill is three dollars and fifty nine cents higher than last year, and he says he annually uses around fifteen hundred tons. He suggests that we take the lower bid from Cargill Salt at ninety six point twenty five cents a ton. That's a pretty straightforward. Um, any comments? <coughs> Um, can I have a motion to accept the recommendation from our DPW department head for um, the Cargill um, Salt bid for the salt bid? So moved. I have a motion to have a second. Second. Motion and second. Any comments? Further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Post say nay. Ayes have it, and the motion is carried. Okay. Now the next item on the agenda is the one that we need. This will be our Employee Labor Relations Executive Session 1 VSA Section 313A1B. Um, may I please have a motion to go into executive session and invite um, the employee um, from the police department into the session? I have a motion. Do I have a second? A motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, say nay. Ayes have it, and the motion is carried. We are now in executive session. We are out of executive session. No action was taken. Um, let's see. Here's Jim all set. Mm -hmm. Okay. I move to remove Officer Morin from the Mears retirement system to establish his own retirement plan with comparable benefits and authorize the city council to sign any necessary forms. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Motion in a second. Any comments? Further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Post say nay. Ayes have it, and the motion is carried. 
Next item on the agenda is the Fire Chief Personnel Matters Executive Session 1 BSA Section 313A1. May I please have a motion to enter into executive session, invite the police chief and specific fire department personnel to enter the executive session. I have with me Mr. Guclair and Mr. And with the carbon, right? So those two people, please enter into executive session. May I? The Travis. Yeah, I said the police. Sorry, right. You're sorry. Um, all those in favor? May I have a motion? I'll make a motion. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Ayes have it. Motion is carried, and we are in executive session. We're out of executive session. No action has been taken. Madam Mayor, I have a motion. Proceed. I'd like to move that we appoint Kevin Lacoste, the current second assistant chief of the fire department, to be interim fire chief effective beginning tomorrow, October 8th, 2024. I have a motion. Do I have a second? I'll second. A motion and a second before I open it up. Um, I want everyone to know that the reason that we are doing this is because during the process of continuing to find the permanent fire chief, it is important for us to have a seasoned fire chief in there right now who can focus the time with the other firefighters. And so because of the former interim chief seasoned experience and um, going forward, we need to be sure that the city is moving in the direction so our fire department is intact. So um, I have a motion and a second. Any questions? Sure. Did you catch that? <laughs> so um, Jonathan will no longer be interim chief and Kevin will be coming in. Correct. Can we extend our indulgences to Kevin? Congratulations on convincing him to go back. And, and um, I want to thank him for doing that and stepping to that. So I have a motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Ayes have it, and the motion is carried. Next item on the agenda is employee evaluation, executive session 1VSA, section 313A3. May I have a motion to find that premature public general knowledge of the confidential attorney-client communications made for providing legal services to the city council would place the city at a substantial disadvantage because disclosure of the otherwise confidential advice and communication would harm the city by waiving the city's attorney-client privilege, 1VSA, Section 313A1F. So of a motion, do I have a second? Second. Of a motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Ayes have it, and the motion is carried. May I have a motion, please, to enter executive session to discuss confidential attorney client <laughs> communications with the city attorney for the purpose of providing professional legal services and invite the city attorney. Um, throughout um, to enter into the executive session pursuant to 1 VSA section A313. So moved. The motion, do I have a second? I don't know who did the first. It was a tie. I okay. have a tie on the motion. <laughs> I have an identification. Of, I'll, I'll second. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, aye. say nay. Ayes have it, and the motion is carried, and we are in executive session. We're out of executive session. Uh, no action was taken. The next item on the agenda is the personnel policy discussion. Kevin, you want to run with that? Um, the, the section on the grievance policy, mm -hmm. I think, we have seen not only why it's necessary, but again, we can flesh it out and, and put in there this 
you know, corrective action plans and spell it out so that it's there when we have a guide to go by. Uh, but I, I do think it's it's necessary uh, for consistency, fairness, equity among other department heads and other non-union uh, employees. That's, I, I'd like to, to see that, you know, back in the day. There's also some other portion of the contract about the... There's some questions about the overtime section. Mm -hmm. right. right. So, so I'm going to ask this, um, and just a question. Um, would you uh, be available for me with me to do a call with our city attorneys and go through some of these things and then we can flush out some of the stuff and then bring it back? Yeah. So within the next week, week and, or two weeks, Max, you're going away, Anna. So we'll come up with a time and then we can go through some of these things and then I think that might be the best way and then and if there's any information missing then we can then you know we can go and talk to who we need to speak with and bring it back here. Would the council be open to that? Yes. Yes. And is there anything in that policy about uh, yearly or semi annual evaluations? Yeah, so that we I'll go through a whole hit list of things that I had still out there, we'll talk with you about it and then we could deal with the city attorneys and walk through those and then we can get this where it needs to be. But I think it would be extremely helpful if you would do that. With oh yeah. Okay. Absolutely. You good with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, here we go. Comments by members of the public. And I'm sorry I'm wiping my eyes. <laughs> Okay, members of the audience are reminded that members of the press are present. <laughs> I'm not crying because the press is present. <laughs> we made her cry. <laughs> we made the mayor cry. Made the mayor. <laughs> okay, and that these proceedings <laughs> are being recorded for current and future broadcast over the city's cable television channel. Members of the audience are further reminded that Newport City Council meetings are for the purpose of allowing council members to conduct city business. City council meetings are the only time the city council discusses, deliberates, and decides upon city matters. City council meetings are held in public to promote transparency and accountability in government, but are distinct from public hearings to town meetings and that they are not meetings of the public. Members of the public shall be afforded a reasonable opportunity for express opinions about matters considered by the city council to conduct orderly and efficient meetings. I kindly request the public's cooperation and compliance with the published guidelines when participating in the meeting. And I thank you. So I'm going to read your name. Please come up, identify yourself, and um, you will have your two minutes. And will our president be our clock? Ms. Hopkins, thank you so much for being so patient. Oh, I, I think there's other people in the room have been more patient than you guys have been working. Uh, Jennifer Hopkins, uh, resident of Newport. I wrote down two items, uh, one of which was asking, which has already been um, addressed, what the status of the personnel policy was. So I'm glad to see that that's going to move forward as it was supposed, promised before. The other thing is a point which is um, just of concern, and I've heard um, our city manager address today that we've just reviewed in your packet a quarterly report of our expenditures. However, before that, you approved warrants that were, I believe, I was looking for my piece of paper. How could I lose one piece of paper between here and out there? Anyway, I believe it is the 18th of September were some of those warrants. Now, maybe those are some due within 10 days, usually 30 days. So those were expenditures that should have been maybe from August, 
but certainly from September. So if we're looking or the council is looking at that budget report of expenditures, as Jonathan said, you're right on the nose because we're at 23%. <coughs> it's not including, as far as I know, all of the expenditures. So I just think it is rather distressing. We don't know. I gather that was published on the 4th, so it probably was expenditures from Jim's office through the 30th, but we didn't have enough funds to pay at least two weeks' worth of warrants. So that's my concern that the council keep that in mind because, you know, we can't raise the taxes. So we've got, you know, a potential real problem of going into a deficit at the end of this year, either December 31st or June 30th. Thank, thank, you. thank you. And we are just, just I, since I know you probably watched the movie meetings, but you weren't here for some yeah. of them. And so we were, um, the treasurer did bring up a lot of these issues and we were addressing them and doing the lines of credits. And this is not yeah. fallen off the top priority of the eyes of the council. Which, which I realize, yeah. but I still think saying, you know, No, I understand is, the that, that verbiage. That was a distortion that really, you know, raised my hackles a little. And, so. and um, we are, right, and so we are looking at all of that, and I just, you know, please don't take a simple statement like that as the gospel. No, no, yeah. okay. it's just I, I think that there are other people who have not been as well informed as the ones who sit at the council or even come, so yeah. it just yeah. yeah. But I do appreciate the uh, input from you because we know you know it, it's welcome. <laughs> okay, so thank you for that. All the citizens are welcome. Yeah, but I'm just saying, you know, these are issues, and that's what we're dealing with, and it's been I, a lot I more realize, complex. I think it's, yeah, I realize it's complex. Yeah. And so, and so thank you. Okay, next item on the agenda, and I'm not. <laughs> is a uh, new business. Uh, President Fashan? Uh, were you going to speak about the liaisons? Right. I was going to do it under all business, but I'll do it under oh, business. Right, right, right. Um, so <laughs> we have the rotation of the liaisons. Did you happen to make the list of who's on there? Uh, so so um, <laughs> it's time for our rotation to start. Um, I um, belong now to the zoning administrator. Uh, Kevin, you are the fire department. Um, you are the DPW. You are PD and you're a rec. Okay? So that's the rotation now. Remember, you're there to learn about the department. <laughs> okay? And so anyone has any questions on that process, please reach out. Um, Where's Chris? P. Yeah. We got the P. I get the D. Yeah. Okay. Notice you waited till after we got the vest. <laughs> okay. Uh, Councilmember Shadman. No, thank you. Uh, Councilmember Curtis. No, thanks. Councilmember Effa Chase. No, thank you. Treasurer. No. Okay. Um, I do want everybody to know that FEMA. Um, has reached out. We were um, the administration asked FEMA to come to City of Newport and to please see if we could help them set up for the um, uh, emergency that they have for the next sixty days, so they can get people registered who were affected in Orleans County. And our department heads worked really hard. And then we met with FEMA today. And we're going to be setting them up downstairs in the community room. And because they needed specific parking, et cetera, they're bringing their own security team. I was pleased that, the, that they asked for Newport because they were officially going to be going elsewhere, but they were requested by the administration to come here and they weren't eager to do that. And so we will have a lease with them. But we'll, once I get the lease, I'll share that with everybody. Um, and so that went off very well today. Um, I also want you to know that uh, myself and the president of the council and uh, certain members of the council, uh, council member Curtis, and um, I just haven't heard back from 
interview you yet because you are here and I'll fill you in. <laughs> okay. We are doing a press conference on October 18th at 11 a.m. at the State House regarding the issues of the hospital. Okay. And the situation that is going on there. We are putting together, I'm meeting again with the CEO, with Tom Frank, who is going to be joining us there. And we will be addressing all of the issues that came up in the report that was issued and how it came to Newport, and we will be taking a strong stance. So I will send you more information on that. So just so you, right, you, I know that, but I, but there's some information that okay. you, I need to get to you anyway, and so I will send that after my meeting this week. I think it's Wednesday with Tom. It'll be like my third meeting with him and uh, Tom Frank, and so we will go forward with that. There are residents who are going to be signing up who want to either send us statements to make or want to come to that press conference. So the information should be published. I'm hoping tomorrow in the paper of how to do all that, okay? So, yes, sir. When is it again? October 18. That's a Friday? At, yes, at 11 a.m. at the State House, and it's been reserved and we're all ready. Montpelier? Yes. Is this just the, just to speak about North Country or, or are the other <coughs> hospitals? North Country. This is, North. this is Tom Franks and by and our members here talking about what right. country. Okay. So I'm afraid. Yes. Okay. It's important. It is. <laughs> just, I forgot to say that. But I just want you all to know. And just because a council member isn't there doesn't mean they're not joined with us in this. It just means that they have another obligation or they're away. Okay. And if, and if anybody wants to get me a statement who can't be there, just please feel free and I will send out statements that we're going to make so everybody can see and you can sign up. And can you make a statement that you really like the public to be there? Oh, absolutely. It says that in, the, uh, in what's going out tomorrow, hopefully in the paper. It says how to sign up, who's coordinating all of that. I've gotten a lot of people. Not everybody reads the paper. Well, it's a start. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yes, so, but there's great. Right, right. But I'm saying it's yes. And so there's going to be that. And it, uh, right after my meeting with uh, Mr. Frank, mm -hmm. we'll really start to get more coverage and things out there. So, yes, now going to all business. Uh, President Bashar? No, thank you. Council Member Charbonneau? Thank you. Council Member Curtis? No, thanks. Alfred Chase? No, thank you. Treasurer Johnson? Yes, I do. Oh, what is I've got documents that need to be signed for that uh, <coughs> construction line of credit. Oh, okay. So it's the same thing on the back of the first page and on the long back of the third page and the last one. Okay. The last page is mine. Just the mayor or all of us? All of us. What's that first? Okay, so. I'll give her the first one. Yeah, so I need somebody who has to make sure that it's three where it says my name, but not in the session. This is where you say you should have kept your name. I think that's it.
light up. So um, <coughs> this, uh, the Go the Extra Mile candidates, I'm going to ask that if anybody has any other recommendations for the Go the Extra Mile heroes or heroines that you please get them to President of the Council and myself because I'm going to ask the President to announce who our Go the Extra Mile recipients are at the next Council meeting. So we could get them up on the website and get them out there, okay? Next item on the agenda is to set the next meeting, the regularly scheduled council meeting for October 21, 2024. So moved. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Right. For the discussion, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. <coughs> Ayes have it, and the motion is carried. Next item on the agenda, can I have a motion to adjourn the regular meeting at 10 8 I'll make that motion. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone not want to adjourn? <laughs> All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, say nay. Ayes have it. Motion is carried. Thank you. Everybody.